It's the Lana Del Rey obsession for me. It's the bad taste of music for me. You can come for me, but you cannot come for my music. It's just rap. No offense. Okay. No offense. Um, it's the anger issues for me. It's the getting your license at 19 for me. Okay. Um, it's the um, not letting anybody take pictures in your room for me. It's the being afraid to make new friends for me. It's the <laughs> Animal Crossing for 20 hours a day in your room for me. It's the emotional changes for me. Okay, um, it's the staying in your room for 12 hours for me. It's the blonde hair for me. Um, it's the bad taste in music for me. It's Lana Del Rey, Surf Curse, and good music. No. Um, it's the TikTok career for me. Okay, um, it's the at least I have a career for me. Um, it's the school dropout for me. Okay, um... <laughs> How to piss your girlfriend off. Connect your phone to the TV while she's watching it and like other girls' photos. Sorry, babe. Wait, is it cool if I sanitize your hands real quick? If you don't mind. Yeah, that's cool. So how you been though, man? Oh, I'm actually gonna have to clean your hands with these wipes for extra bacteria, if you don't mind. All right, I don't. Anyway, how you been, man? Oh, I'm actually gonna have to wash your hands as well, if you don't mind. I never, man. Okay, how you been, man? Oh, my nail technician's gonna have to clean the dirt under your nails. If you don't mind. Stop it! I just wanted to know how your day was! Want me to do your many? I'm gonna have to wash your hands first. Good morning! <laughs> it's cold in your house. Mmm, I wish I had one of those right now. Oh, I can get one? You should have told me. <laughs> mm, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. How do you eat this though? Squeeze. Squeeze. I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, Pearson, this is your stop. Oh, thanks so much for the ride. Bye. Oh! What? What just happened? You see that too? <laughs> TikTok, what's going on, family? It's your boy, Brother Nature. Another day in the neighborhood, so I gotta introduce y'all to another Deer Squad member. Uh, Nancy, what it do, girl? Say what's up to the talk, man. Introduce us to your little baby daughter. That's Nancita right there, and that's Nancy. The sassiest doe you ever know. Yo, Nancy, Nancy, why you walking away from me, Nancy? They're doing perfectly fine. Uh, she's just being a good mother, trying to protect the little babies and all that. Don't worry, Nancy, I come in peace. I'm just trying to feed you. I'm just trying to feed you. We are getting reports of high winds for the next hour or so in the tri-state area. Yo, what's good? Yo, bro, I'm starving. Yo, what's going on? Has anyone seen my cat? Bro, how big's the universe? Cool. All right, class, I'm gonna hit the lights now so we can begin the movie. Oh, where are the black kids? Where are the black kids? Where the... Oh, I got a joke for you, buddy. Okay, now could everyone direct their attention to the screen? Oh, it's kind of dark in here. Where'd Chris go? Yeah, I'm right in here, bro. I know you can see me. It's not even that dark in here. I'm right next to the window. I'm light skinned. You're sunburned. We're damn near the same color. Ah, where'd Jeremy go? Can't see Jeremy. F you. All right, bro. Calm down. Damn. I can't. Can you see this? How'd you do that? Okay, so my boy finally built up the courage to get this waitress's number in Chili's. Let's see if he gets this. Oh, sh. He's coming. <laughs> He was in there for like five minutes, dude. If he didn't get that number, I swear to God. Well, did you get it? Evan, did you get it? I got it! You got it? <laughs> Let's go! Yes! I'm not calling her. Call right. her right I'm now, dude. I'm not calling her right now. I just got her number. <laughs> oh. Call her right now. Dude. Jake, I'm not It's been an hour. Her. I'm not It's been an hour. Her. I'm not calling her right now. All right, he's finally grew some balls, and now he's giving her a call. Let's go!
Is this Carly? Carly? No, this is uh, this is Carly's husband. Oh my god! Yeah, I made out with your sister. What? Are you gonna hang out with your sister? Yeah, I'm about to pick her up. I think she's really hot. Huh? Yeah, that, that's what I would have bought. With the three sons? Yeah. Yeah, you told me to buy them. Good. I'm gonna have a hard time working in an office because I have to sit like this when I do my work, at least for like an hour. It feels racist if they say, don't sit like that, put your legs down. This is my culture. I have to squat. At least it's just in me. I can't. Nana, come here. What? Come here. I realize why you've been so grumpy lately. Why? Because you need a bang. What do you mean a bang? Like a bang. You haven't had a good bang in a while. Bend the what? A bang. Like a bang. A bang that you've been inside? <laughs> no. No, I mean like this. It's like this. I mean like the can. Like oh, the can. We're about to try the Charlie drink. Do two of the Charlie drinks. With the oh. Okay, so we're back home. We have our straws in. Let's try it. Taste test. Cheers, Charlie. I actually like it. Wait. What? Oh my god. What? Are you okay? I don't know what's happening. What's happening? What? He can't stop. What is wrong with you, Charlie? <laughs> My boyfriend says he loves every smoothie I make, so we're gonna put it to the test and see if he's lying. Broccoli, pineapple, strawberries, don't forget onion, hot sauce, and to top it off, almond milk. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Perfect. Uh, it smells so bad, but let's wait until he comes home. He's five minutes away. Hi. It smells interesting in here. I actually made you a morning oh. smoothie. Try it, it's so good. It's a new recipe I tried, so I don't know how it tastes exactly. Good? You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. do? Yeah, I'm just kind of full. You're full? Yeah, I can't finish it right now. Oh. My stomach feels a little, like, queasy. Are you sure? Do you want me to save it for later? Yeah? I think it'll go bad. Here we go. Ah, get it right this time. Tap, rebound, tick, tick, swipe, sharp, sharp, down. And a pick up, isolate the hip, tick, tick. Crack and slow, head back, gooey, crack, hit, hit, ripple up, heavy, three and four, hips front, slide, tap, low, high, and hit, teeter, totter, chest, shimmy, turn around, up and down, open up, freeze, ah. Hey, son, I'm looking for that wop. That's what I call a weird owl parody. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I'm looking for one for wop. Okay, so I slept with my housemaid. My mom decided to hire her early last summer. The reason being is me and my mom were always at work. We never had time to clean the house, and when we were at home, we didn't feel like cleaning. Well, one Saturday that my mom was working, I called out sick, which happened to be the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. And yeah, you guessed it. I wasn't actually sick. I just didn't want to go into work. After I called out of work, I went back to sleep and ended up waking up around 1 p.m. to a knock on my door. When I'm in my room, I always close and lock the door. I like my privacy. I opened the door to see the housemaid. She was the most beautiful girl I have ever seen in my life. Keep in mind, this was my first time seeing her. She looked at me and the first thing she said to me was, wow, I didn't think you'd be so handsome. And I was shocked. I'm not used to receiving compliments like that. Then she asked me if I had a girlfriend. And as soon as I said no, she wrapped her arms around me and started kissing me. Then she took my shirt off and started kissing down my body. And she was bad. I wasn't going to tell her no. Then she pushed me down on the bed and got on top of me. After she hopped on, my phone rang and she answered it. And the worst thing that could have ever happened to me happened. Like and share for part two, it gets crazy. Good morning, students. Welcome to your first day of public school. Uh, before we start, does anyone have any questions for me? Yes, you. Hi, Mr. Teacher. Um, why do we have to come here? Well, because your parents don't have the energy to teach you anything themselves, so they dump you off here while they go work a job that they hate. I get paid around $4 a month to teach you things that you're never going to actually need to know once you step out into the real world. And what I do teach you will ultimately be buried among all the financial and emotional pressures you'll face as adults. Pressures I am not going to prepare you for in any way and instead teach you about the periodic table. Even though about 0.001% of you are ever going to take up a career in chemistry and most of you will wind up working life draining 9 to 5s like your parents that just dropped you off here. Oh, okay, uh... 
How long do we have to- 12 years, not including college. What's college? It's just like this, but it's gonna make you go bankrupt. Have you seen the Umbrella Academy or Outer Banks? And am I the only one who, after watching a show, always Googles and social media searches everyone in the cast? But the worst thing is after I finish watching a show that I've seen for so long and now I'm like emptily scrolling through Netflix or just trying to figure out what to watch next. But how has no one thought about this? Now there's finally an app where you give it your preferences and the app tells you what show you are going to like next. It is literally it's gonna save me hours of just endless scrolling check it out link in my bio you'll love it too let this be a reminder that there really are monsters out there in 2007 a woman living right near a prison in california got home late one night and went right to bed around midnight she woke up to footsteps on her first floor assumed it was her roommate so she goes downstairs to say hi she yells out to a roommate who doesn't say anything, and then in walks this giant man who she doesn't recognize. She runs upstairs, jumps in her closet into the crawl space, and hides. As she's helplessly tucked away in this little crawl space, trying not to make any sound, all she hears is this giant man sprinting around her house, running into walls, flipping furniture, and screaming in frustration because he can't find her. Finally, after several hours, she slowly opens the crawl space back up, crawls out, and gets her phone off the nightstand and calls police. As she's telling the police her story, she describes the person who had broken in and they stop her and say, ma'am, go back in the crawl space and stay there. We'll be there as soon as we can. It turned out a six foot 11 convicted murderer had escaped the prison and was still on the loose. Olivia. Gosh, what? No, dad. My bill. What's the issue? If you're spending this much money, you need a part-time job. Ha, huh, right. You're paying me back. Good one. You can make 12 an hour. Hundred. No, $12. Dad. 911, what's your emergency? Help, my daughter is stuck in the car. Have you tried opening the door? I can't, I locked my keys in the car. Have you tried telling your daughter to open the door? She can't, she's only seven months. <laughs> you locked your baby inside of a car? It was an accident, I just had to get into the store real quick. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what to do, are you listening? Yes ma'am, thank you. All right. Put your hands behind your back, because your ass getting arrested. Day one of my short-term memory loss. Jackson, what's the new Wi-Fi password? I'm addicted to putting bananas on my mayonnaise for breakfast. Nope, that's not it. Dad, do you know what it is? I'm addicted to putting bananas on my mayonnaise for breakfast! Oh, three exclamation points! We're in. She, she, she. No, there's something in no, here, I'm being stop. serious, no. it doesn't sound- Okay, there's the creepiest guy that just left all this trash right here, and there's a dumpster right here, and like, Lauren swears there's something in it. Oh my god, be careful, be careful. Ew, 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 ew. Stop. What's in it? Check. What that? What is that? What is that? Leave my family- Oh my god, Lauren, I don't want to touch it. It's a roll of- Lauren, we have to put it back. No, we have to report no. it. No, no, leave it! it. Fundamental what? Google is free. It's in another tab and you still misspelled the word. We gotta think. It's been six hours. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. A fetus is just a clump of cells. Yeah, but isn't everyone a clump of cells? Like, I'm technically just a big clump of cells. Fetuses are alive. Shouldn't the argument be about women's body autonomy, not about whether or not the fetus is a clump of cells? I don't care about women's body autonomy. Like the Bible says, we need to protect the children. Okay, but what about all the children who are being separated from their families at the border, then disappearing? And what about all the Bible verses that say to treat a foreigner in your land as if they're one of your own people? Obama did it too. Yeah, he shouldn't have. You're a snowflake. You're canceled. <laughs> I just feel like I was my happiest in the womb. Come here. Yeah, hi. Did you turn the birds off? The birds are very loud. Can we turn them down? Yes, hi. And can you also bring the sun back up? I'm losing my key lighting. The sun up. Top this up with hot water. Hot water. Take number 14. Bada vom. It's cool. You're cool. Hope he's okay. Scott. Scott. To the left. Keep it sharp. Shorts are up. Hope he's doing facials. Breath. Down, down, down. Rolly clap. Watch your feet. Period. Wiggle worm, wiggle worm. Okay, wiggle opposite. Thank gosh. After the tone. Hey, babe. Come here. 
miss you and I can't stop thinking about you. Call me when you get this message, okay? To hear your message, press 7. Hey, babe. I miss you and I can't stop thinking about you. Just found out I can turn water into urine. Call me Pisces. Why is this happening? I'm lifting this plate that's on top of this bowl of ramen. I was making, he was making me ramen. What? And that was so that it would, oh my god! It was just pressure. Why did that, oh Here, my... have some ramen, Jonah. Thank you. Oh my god, what's wrong? Why aren't you at the party right now? Why are you crying? Your boyfriend broke up with you. What's his name? I'll go talk to him. Who? Mark? His name's Mark? You're crying over someone with the name Mark? You should be crying that you even dated someone with that name! F*** you! Here's my dating tip, business tip, relationship management tip of the weekend to go into your weekend. You better nail your first impression. Because if you don't nail your first impression, how many acts of remedy do you think it'll take to make up for it? This many. Yes, let me tell you what happened. So here I am at the Walgreens store and everybody has a mask on except for this redhead, no offense against redheads, I love you guys, but this redhead woman that wants to sit there and take forever and talk the whole time. You don't have a mask on. Everybody around you has a mask on. So yes, if you see me, hi, I'm calling you out. Wear a mask. Don't be an idiot. I don't care who you believe in, what political party. I don't care who you are. If you're going to stand in a store for 10 minutes talking to the cashier person with no mask on, spreading your germs, be aware that there's other people in there that can get the sickness that you're getting from not wearing a mask. Wear a mask. Thank you. Love you. Slept with him. <laughs> Shut the f I will not. It's true. <laughs> but aren't you a little weirded out? I mean, at your face. You're just jealous. Jealous I'm getting the D. No, but I mean, it is a bit weird, right? What's weird, Karen? That that he's your dad. I mean, <laughs> jealous. Yo, dude, you got something on your shirt. What is it? <laughs> it's a prank! It's a prank! Yo, there's something on your shirt right there. Why, dude? Right there. It's a prank, dude! It's a prank! Yo, Sam, dude, you got something on your shirt, dude. Dude, it's a prank! We're out at dinner right now, and basically we're out because it's my birthday. Happy birthday! Megan, give us the best song you got, girl. I'm not allowed to be loud, actually. What do you um, mean you're not allowed to be loud? But I can give no you way. a quiet song. Aww. Yes, give us a quiet song. Hey everyone, I always get messages asking how I edit my TikTok videos or the behind the scenes on my Instagram and I thought it would just be easier just to show all of you. I know video editing can be super intimidating because of all of the editing apps out there that all have different learning curves, but Wondershare is here to change that. They have powerful and easy to use video editing products that make video editing a breeze. I use Wondershare's video editor Filmora. They have music, stock footage, literally anything that you might think of when editing a video. Whatever might be stopping you from creating, Wondershare's got it covered. They want to show you that creativity isn't out of your reach. It's not about complication or unachievable skills. Creativity is within everyone. To help you out, Wondershare wants you to try out their software for free. Check out their website at wondershare.com. Don't let the process get in the way. Share a part of you with Wondershare. Okay. Done.